everyone. Till now we have covered the whole partnership accounting in just 100 minutes. And we have also solved problems on partnership, admission and retirement of a partner. So with these five easy steps that we have gone through in our session on dissolution of partnership, let's solve a problem. And this problem will have some twists and turns which will help us to solve some more such problems easily and quickly. So now without a further ado, let's begin with the question we have and see whether really it can be solved in these five easy steps. First, let's read and go through the question carefully. Mr. Alex and Mr. Jackson are equal partners whose balance sheet as on 31st March 2016 was as follows. Due to their weak financial position, partners decided to dissolve their firm. Mr. Alex and Mr. Jackson were declared insolvent. The assets realized are as follows. We are required to prepare necessary ledger accounts to close the books of the firm. Now, after understanding the question, as we know, we will require mainly three accounts. That is cash account, capital account and realization account. First, let's prepare the ledger accounts neatly so that whenever we need to check any entry or any amount, we can find it easily. According to the first step, we need to transfer the cash and capital balance. So here, we will transfer the balances from the balance sheet. Our next step is to transfer all the assets and liabilities. But if we go through the question, we have information only about realization on assets. And there is no information about the liabilities, which means creditors aren't paid off. Therefore, creditors will not be transferred to realization account. So here, we transfer only the assets on the debit side of realization account. As now we are done with our second step, let's move forward to our third step to record the sale of assets. From the information here, let's record the realized values of all the assets. Here we have reached to our fourth step that is to record payment of liabilities and expenses on dissolution. Let's record dissolution expense. There is no information about the payment of creditors. So creditors will be paid from the cash available and if we need additional amount that will be paid from the partner's capital account. So here from the cash available we will pay off the creditors and in the end, rest of the amount will be paid from the partner's capital account. As we have passed all the entries, now before we move to our last and final step of calculating surplus or deficit, let's check whether we have posted all the entries or amounts correctly. Okay, we have posted all the entries and their amounts correctly from the balance sheet. Let's check the entries posted from this additional information. Did you find any mistake in any of the entries? Yes, here we have made one mistake. We have posted the wrong amount for debtors. So we correct the amounts here. So every time before closing and settling all the accounts, we must recheck the accounts to avoid such silly mistakes. Let's proceed to our last and final step. So we start with realization account. Debit is more than credit. This means there is a loss. Thus loss will be divided among the partners and it will be transferred to partners capital account. So now we'll settle partners capital account and pay off the creditors. But we don't have enough money to pay the creditors, which concludes there is a deficiency here. Thus, partners need to pay this from their personal assets. But we have information which says that partners are insolvent and are not contributing towards the creditors from their private assets. Thus, this balance of 6000 will be transferred to deficiency account and from this, 
partner's capital account will be settled same way creditors are partially paid so creditors account will be closed by transferring the balance amount hence all the accounts are settled here so with the help of these five steps we solve the whole problem very quickly now let's add some more twist to this problem to understand better about the accounting treatments of dissolution just now we saw partners were declared insolvent but what if the partners had brought additional capital to pay the creditors what would be its accounting treatment there would not be much more difference instead of transferring the partners capital balances to deficiency account we would have recorded here the cash brought in by the partners as follows and creditors would be settled by debiting additional 6000 thus all the accounts are settled here now let's see what the next twist is say what if one partner is insolvent and another is solvent then in such case mr jackson's account will be settled by mr alex and he would bring additional cash of 3000 to pay off the creditors now let's see what's the last turn of our problem say instead of loss there is a profit of 10000 on realization then in this case profit on realization would be transferred to partners capital account on the credit side and creditors would be paid from the cash available the partners will receive their capital also and they will receive an additional surplus of 5000 so here all the accounts will be settled so we have seen a lot on how accounting is done on dissolution in various different scenarios so that's all for today if you like this session please do like comment and subscribe to our channel let's shoot accountancy thank you